Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Finance Bong and Dobo. I'm an author of the book title God Lacks Nothing. Why do that? So today we are here in Wanoshungu where I was born, guys. So I'm so excited to be here. The reason why I am here is because, guys, I forgot my camera charger. So I went here to fetch that is the reason why I made because I love making videos guys for you guys. So we are not here to talk about this, but we are here to talk about five reasons why you must stay or visit rural areas. Five reasons why you must visit or stay in rural areas. Number one, if you want peace, guys, if you want peace. Then rural areas is the place to live or is the place to visit. You know, there is inner peace here, not like in Durban. Durban life is fast, Jobek life is fast, Kelta life is fast. You hear a lot of noise, but here in rural areas, there is no noise. You know, you get inner peace, you know, which leads me to number two. Number two is if you wanna live a low budget life, then rural areas is for you. People who live here in rural areas, they live a low budget life. They go to town once a month. You know, they don't have um, expenses, too much expenses. You know, they don't have too much expenses. So this is the right place to live here in rural areas. Number three, if you wanna get fit. Rural areas is the place because houses here are isolated, you know. So when you go to your neighbor, you travel a distance, which leads you to be fit, you know. And also the stores here are far away. So when you want to buy something, you know, you travel a long distance, which leads you to be fit again. And if you can compare a child, a three-year-old kid from rural area and a kid from Durban, you can see the difference. The one from rural area is fit. The one from Durban, the one that eats Kellogg's and stuff like that, is not fit. You know, here, uh, three year olds here can head cows. Three year olds in Durban cannot head cows, guys. So, in order for you to be fit, you have to visit or stay in rural areas. Number four. Number four, guys. There is enough water. You know, in Durban, we have a problem of running out with water, guys. You know, we have a problem, a big problem of water. Here in uh, rural areas, water doesn't run out. When we don't have water, we go to the rivers. But I do have a video where I explain to you five ways to where we get water from in rural areas. I explain five places where we get water from in rural areas. Number four, guys. Number, f I'm, on, I'm, I'm on number five. Oh, I forgot, guys. You know, I think I'm old enough now. I'm on number five, you know. There is enough land, guys, here. There is enough land. If you want to build a house, if you want to, uh, if you are a person who wants to farm here, yeah, you know, there is enough land, you know, we got amazing land here, yeah, we got cars and stuff like that, we got everything, guys. So if you want to uh, have land, have your own place, rural areas is the way to go. So guys, before I go, I will give you my bonus reason. My bonus reason, which is reason number six. I know I said five reasons why you must stay in rural areas, but my reason number six is that when you borrow money from the bank, right, and you build a house from rural areas, you know, let's say you no longer afford to pay back the money, you know, bankers or banks, cannot possess your house because rural areas are regarded as zero rated areas so they can't possess your house because this is who's gonna buy a place or a house in rural areas because they are regarded, they regarded as a zero rated area guys so these are the reasons why you must stay in rural areas guys please visit 
um, rural areas guys it's so nice to be there i will catch you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching make sure that you like this video and make sure that you subscribe thank you i'm out